What is up everybody, Jonathan here. In this video, we are going to have a little fun and we're gonna use the financial modeling prep uh, API in Python and we're gonna print the historical price of a stock symbol. It's quite easy and you know, I just have this, this long URL here uh, set aside just for my own easy reference because I don't want to sit here while I fumble typing out a long convoluted URL. But this is the, the, the URL we build and we send that into the requests library. The don't show this key uh, library also is just a file I have to store my uh, API key. Oh, and by the way, hit the subscribe button and the like button if you enjoy this video. Anyway, let's get back into it. So once we have our uh, our URL all set up, actually we're gonna have to retype, we're gonna have to move this, but we'll do that in just a second. What we are going to do is we are gonna create a response we set that equal to requests dot get, and then we're gonna type in the URL dot JSON. So we're just gonna take that JSON ros ros response uh, right here. The URL itself is gonna be built with a symbol, which is AAPL. Oh, we've already got that in there. What am I doing? All right, and then yes, and then we create that. And then we're just going to do a simple, you know, let's just print out that response so you can see what's in it and it'll make it a lot, make a lot more sense. Uh, Jason, Jason, crazy. It'll make a lot more sense when we go to, uh, oh, what the heck is wrong there? Not get such URL. Okay. Okay typo make a lot more sense when I go to loop through this All right so this is what that response gives us uh, you know we, we can import pretty print and instead of just printing it out we'll do pretty print dot p print <laughs> and this might be a little bit more usable so we're gonna loop through the first item which is historical and then we're just going to print out the dates and the close where's the close right there so we can have the date and the close it's easy enough uh, and that's going to be for price underscore data in response of historical that way because if we didn't if we just did in response right it'll just loop through uh, like the first a higher up value. It won't get into the historical data. Okay. Uh, don't forget the colon, of course. And then price equals price underscore data of what? A per of close. Right. And then date equals price underscore data of date. And then we're going to print. We're gonna do like, what is it? F. I always forget F. Yes, the price was. And then we do the curly brace thing. The price was price on the date of date. Right, that was right. This is going to loop through all those items and print it out to the console and say the price was blank on this date. And there you go, on 2000, you know, we can go up to a more recent price. $129 at the end of the year. That's quite, that's pretty low, man. We were like 169 in April last year. So right now we're at 153.85 on the most recent closing day, which was the 23rd. So that's how you use financial modeling prep to do a basic historical price analysis. And uh, and yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and enjoy uh, enjoy the content. Bye bye.